Uh, while I'm feeling a bit ranty, yeah. Allow me. I have I have a thing that bothers me. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh no, it's it's a it's a light thing. Okay, but we've got we've got some breeders in the room. There's some people in the room who've chosen to have children. There's like there's at least three of us. Two of us did it as a team to you know, <laughs> split the load. Yeah, uh, we worked together on it. Yeah, it was it was it was our greatest uh, collaborative project after strip search mm. uh, and room quest. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just said that to the internet. You know she's gonna see that when she's thirteen, right? To be fair, strip search was a lot more work and a lot less fun. <laughs> Okay. And I would put, put the breeding requires a lot fewer SD cards. It took about nine months, though. Yeah, but yeah. only one project gave me wrinkles, and it wasn't Penelope. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, here's the deal. Dear breeders, I get that you want people to have children because secretly they're really delightful and wonderful, and you think they're great. But here's the deal. We have to stop t telling people who don't want to have children, oh, they're lovely and you can only understand once you have a child. Because while that is technically true, what it sounds like we're trying to do is, con is convert people to our crappy cult, <laughs> right? Because yep. it's like, yes, I can only understand that you're sleep deprived. You've developed 16 new gray hairs that I can see from here and that your body was destroyed in a variety of exciting and stitch requiring ways. That doesn't sound like fun. It just sounds like we're trying to lure people in to share our misery. What we need to do, if we want to convince other people to have children, because having children is actually quite delightful. You, when somebody says, oh, what's it like having a children? I'll be like, oh, I couldn't possibly tell you. <laughs> you have to keep an air of mystery about it, because if you tell people that it's all poo, the chemicals in your brain make you like it, it ruins it. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> what? I thought this was fitting for this rant. <laughs> it's fine, but it's a soapbox. So, my fellow breeders, I have, to, I have to beg you, if you want to, it sounds like we're trying to make other people as unhappy as we are. Stop doing that. Just start telling people that there's a ceremony that they'll get inducted to on their, the first full moon after you can walk straight again, and then they'll be much more excited about it. That is my, that is my plea yeah. to fellow have, breeders. Have kids or don't. I super don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Never give Kathleen sugar again, or always give Kathleen sugar oh, every time. There's a reason I don't eat a lot of sugar. I can feel the sugar leaving my body. I can feel like... Like the, a ghost? <laughs> Remember like when I said check back in 12 minutes? It's the been exactly 12 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> uh, um, wow. The, the ghost of poor dietary decision making. <laughs> He's leaving me and it's going into Graham. Uh, hello. The ghost is within me now. Ooh. The ghost of sucrose past. <laughs> ghost of sucrose past. 